how I was able to travel from Kotonu to Thailand all because of I was managing money and this video is for you that don't have much money on transport Nigerian system has been built to extort a lot of money from you especially in the aviation sector Nigerian transport in the aviation sector is way very expensive if you've not watched my last video please go and watch it I talked about how you can book cheap flights from Nigeria how you can book cheap flights traveling from Kotonu it is very very cheap this is now the update that they give you it is very cheap from Kotonu so I gave the website where you can see it very very cheap so if you've not watched that video please go to my page and watch that video and I will be giving you travel tips on how you can save a lot of money please follow this page if you want to keep seeing this video it would help you okay I'll be starting from um, if you are traveling, if you've decided that you want to follow Kotonu as a route, first of all, I would say don't be scared because I was also very nervous and I was like, how would I do it? I don't know anybody in Kotonu and, I, and it's going to be a, a lonely journey for me and me going to a new place I don't know to avoid being scammed. How I, a lot of thoughts was going through my head, but I took the courage and said, I'm going to take that place. So I'm going to tell you how I did it. And I, 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 I passed through there safely. And it was not just a journey, but it was um, a learning process because I learned a lot of things. I saw how what my visa was, my, my passport was stamped in Kotonu. And it was an amazing experience. So for the experience, you should, you should also try following Kotonu, which is Benin Republic. I can also recommend you someone that could pick you up if um, immigration will stress you. So, but if you have maybe a retired custom officer, an immigration officer that works around that, the axis of um, taking the Kotonu route better for you, you have to just make your call so that you won't be stressed. You won't be stressed because Nigeria will also frustrate you along that as is. They will also want to frustrate you along that as So you can also DM me if you want to get contact of how you can also pass through that route safely without stress. So where is this route? You don't from Lagos to to Bene Republic, which is Kotonu, is just one hour thirty minutes drive. Very, very, very close. Nigeria shares border with Kotonu. So you shouldn't think from Bene, uh, from Nigeria to Benin Republic takes the whole day. So don't be scared. It's very, very short. For me, I, I, I live close to Sangwata. I live close to, um, I live close to Agulegba. That's um, Agbado, Agzix. So it was really, really, very close to Kotonu. So there are two ways to, to, to go there. You can use the Seme border. You can also use the Idiroko Axis. So Idiroko Axis, I will recommend it because um, that place is much more safer. Um, it's cool. It's it's more like um, um, when you have someone at that Idiroko Axis, is easier for you to to manipulate your way and get to the border. Mind you, it is actually your right to to you because Kotonu is a um, an ECOWAS country, so you are not uh, meant to pay any money to to fly from there. But immigration officers will just want to extort money from individuals and pretend. But you are your right; you could actually go there and travel if you want to. So you know your country now. Your country will, auto, will your country will always want to use any means to export money from their Nigerians. So um, if you're taking, I am talking about based on how I did mine. I didn't use the semi border, so I don't have an experience taking the semi border. But what I heard, um, it's a bit um, stressful using that met and the semi border. 
so except you know your way around there you can also use there so you can use the diroko so when you get to um um sand water you could enter um, a vehicle going to Owode from Sango under the bridge. Look for where you can enter Owode. From that place, you get to that Owode, you can now enter um, a direct um, motor going straight to the border. Yeah, so you can enter, motor, um, you can enter a, um, a, a bus going straight to the border. Very cheap and very easy but if i'm going to be recommending someone for you someone the person will come and pick you up from Uwude. so he's going to pick you up and he's going you have to lodge your yeah, you can as well lodge in the hotel around that border you can as well lodge in a guest house yeah you lodge you keep um, your stuff will be safe so early very early in the morning you hit the ground running like your president Tinibu, you 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 start um, looking for your way so, but try and make sure your your passport is stamped that evening that evening that's how i did my my passport was stamped that um evening i got to the border before i got to my hotel or that afternoon before i got to my um my hotel so in the morning it was just a free pass which the the person the person I want to recommend to you actually helped me and it was easy. He took my passport and got it stamped. So if you have somebody better for you, the person will help you and get your passport stamped and it will be very easy very early in the morning. Um, you still don't want to follow that process. Maybe um, you want to go there yourself. It's just that they might still want to extort me because they really know that you are going for travel except you're going to hide your passport and hide so many things and if you're going to be traveling for education i don't under, I, I, it will be very stressful hiding all your documents for your school except you're going for something else you can just hide your passport and if they won't see it especially those immigration officers so in the morning you cross the border so when you cross the border um you would see um people that exchange money at that point so um, you check the uh, when, when I I think when I changed mine I changed I changed about eleven thousand five hundred cephas I changed it for about sixteen thousand five hundred naira yes I can remember I don't know yeah about sixteen thousand five hundred naira the country don't get money passing you now it's very it's very valuable than your currency what you go do so that money I used it for the cap that took me straight to the airport. Yeah, straight to the airport. But very, very stupid cabman, he had to drop me and transload me to a bike man that took me to the airport. What thing I go do now? So I paid the, uh, the, the, the cabman, I paid the cabman, the taxi man, 10,000 cephas. So he took 10,000 cephas to take me to the airport, to the airport. Then um, the remaining change that was with me was what I used to get food to eat. You get to watch the video of how the processes went and how I did it. So the videos will be showing um, on your screen and how I did it. So this is how you should do it from from Kotoni. It's very easy. Don't be scared. It's, it's, as, it's so, so easy, especially when you have someone that, um, that can cross you easily. And you can contact me. I would, um, I would. You can contact me on any of my platform, and I would give you contact. Recommend someone that can actually cross you. It doesn't cost much. It's just very easy. It's just going to cross you because you're on your right. I want you to understand that you're on your right. You don't have to. Uh, it's not illegal. I don't know if you understand. So, but immigration officer in Nigeria are frustrated or just want to make you and uh, make you feel like you are you are you are doing an illegal thing. But you're on your right, and it's not an offense to go to um, um, an ECOWAS country. Uh, just try and get your um, your passport stamped so that you can be able to fly from Kotonou to to wherever country you want to fly from. If you want to get Sangu water, for those people that don't know where Sangu water is, 
from Oshodi in Lagos, you can locate where you get Sango water. So straight to from Oshodi straight to Sango water, from Sango water to Wode, from Wode straight to the border. Yeah. So this is for people that don't know where Sango water is. So Sango water is, um, I think, eight hundred naira or seven hundred naira from Oshodi. Okay. So this is the video. This is how I started. This is the border. So where you are seeing now is the border, the boundary, Idiroko, the boundary between Nigeria and Benin Republic. So this is where I moved. Though I've stamped my passports, I told you earlier you have to snap it a, a day before, probably this morning, which is in the morning here. So we've crossed the border, and this is the woman changing my money for me. So it's just at the border there. So you get to see them, and you change your money to Sefa. So I did a transfer for her because she's, she uses a Nigerian account, and she's in she's a Yoruba woman. So that was my money you saw there, and this is me. So that was nice and this is the park where it's uh, just close to the border also so from here they will take you to the airport so i had to pay in sefa which i which i paid ten thousand sefas at this point so i think my driver was pricing my driver was pricing it at this point and um he was pricing it and they finalized at 10k so they said because they know him and stuff it can be a little bit expensive, but within 10k, 10k to 12k. So this is Port Novo. I was just looking outside, checking out, because this is actually my first time leaving Nigeria. So my SIM card even went on roaming. So don't be scared if your, your SIM card can make or you'll still be browsing at this point. Even MTM will still be connected to Nigeria even at this point here until you go far. So this is uh, the... the 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 taxi man dropped me and handed me over to a bike man which was not fair but it's not good do now all these transloaders so he said there was traffic and that was how it was that was why he had to transload me to a bike man but nevertheless i still moved no wahala i was still moving then i said let me eat before i enter the airport because i was like three hours 30 minutes to my flight time i have enough time so i came here to eat so this was where I came to eat, to Jaye, to chop, thinking say I go chop better food. So with the 1,000 already in my hand, I see me carries and chop. Or more, the food was, <laughs> I don't want even go there. See the beer they give me. It was even the beer and the fish I managed to eat. The stew was nothing to write home about. Like, I, I, I could not believe myself I was eating such food. And so I would just advise don't even near going to the canteen. It's a worse experience, a bad experience. So this is me in the airport. This is the airport, and we are move. I was moving, entering, and it was so sweet. No stopping. It's just the pex experience. I don't know how, because a lot of people have told me about how Nigeria can can be so frustrating. But here, I never experienced it. Even despite I was in Nigeria and I was going Siriri wherever. So the only problem is that they speak French. They speak French, so you understand their hand gestures and you understand what they are saying. So this was where the security was just searching my body because they never searched my bag. They never opened my bag. They never stressed me. Okay, she was telling me to move forward. So I was, I just kept following all, um, the um, the orders and any um, um, stuff I don't know. I asked them. I just like use my hand gestures. What's next? And they'll tell me where to go. So... I, I, this is where they are checking for the um, the scale of your luggages and everything. Very easy. Please always remember to lock your bag. Very important. I didn't have to wrap it, but some people used to wrap it uh, because um, I wasn't having enough money because I've changed all my money already to the the what I've used. I've used it already for the for the 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 food and the transportation. So I was left with almost nothing. Yeah. So, I was just here, um, standing on the queue, waiting for my turn, and they did. No stress, it was so easy. They checked my passport, checked everything at this point, and straight after I passed the immigration and everything, straight to this point. I didn't spend up to 45 minutes in this whole video, in this whole process. I didn't spend up to 45 minutes when I got to the airport. This was me here, enjoying. I waited over 
two hour 30 minutes for my plane to 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 um tell us to come to board so the experience is beautiful very beautiful experience so i recommend if you want to save money you want to save costs you want to save stress i recommend traveling from from kotonu in all i promise you what you're going to spend is not up to up to up to seventy thousand or 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 sixty thousand naira. that is what i think might just be the overall cost of what you're going to spend very easy so thank you very much see you once again in my next video